today's video. We are doing it. We are officially trying out the Dyson Airwrap, you guys. I did it. I purchased the Dyson Airwrap. This is the full, full system. I'm going to be trying it out today with you guys. I asked you on Instagram if you wanted to see me mention this, like in a first impressions, or if you guys would rather see me do this like later on after I tried it for a while and kind of give a review on it and a lot of you were like, we want to see you use it for the first time. So that's what we're going to be doing, testing it out today. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, I mean, are you living under a rock? Because I feel like this is one of the most hyped up hair products. My hair is literally getting stuck to it <laughs> out there. Like this is so hyped up. I feel like, especially when it came out, the reviews for it were like everywhere but I even still on my feed probably because I watch them but I still see reviews for this all of the time it's something that I just haven't been able to kick I've been wanting it since it came out um and this is expensive guys like this is an expensive product it is um the Dyson Airwrap and it is a $550 hair tool it's expensive um I got mine at Ulta Beauty and before you guys are like, Molly, you're insane because you spent $550 on something. I did not spend that myself. What happened is I actually ended up getting a gift card um, that was, I think my gift card was $250. I had $100 in points and they offered 20% at Ulta, which they never do. Like the Dyson stuff barely ever goes on sale. Like if there is a 20% off coupon, it like excludes that. So I feel like I got a really good deal on this and I had another gift card too. So I feel like I only, I think my total was like $80 out of pocket that I paid for this, which I mean, that's pretty good. So if it is something that you've been having your eye on, I definitely recommend like saving up your points and waiting for that 20% because that really made a big difference. So the products that it does come with or the full set, everything that it does come with in case you haven't seen it before, is it has this roller. So this right here um, is the roller. It has all these different attachments. It comes in this really nice like leather case. It's really nice. Um, it has two paddle brushes. You have two different larger paddle brushes. Let's see if I can pull those out for you. And then you also have your hair wand. So there are going to be the hair wands. So you have two different sizes right here. I know that they recently did get um, new sizes in these as well. So that is now an option that you can purchase a couple more barrels in like longer ones, which I was thinking about doing, but those attachments alone are another $39. So I figure I should see what I think of this first and then think about grabbing those. And then you also have the hair drying attachment and then the tool itself is right here. And I actually haven't played with this at all. So this is gonna be like a total first impressions. We're gonna try it out. Um, I did just wash my hair. I have been letting it air dry a bit, so it is pretty dry. I know from the reviews that I've seen on this, I have watched quite a few of them. Um, a lot of people say that it works best on like very, um, almost completely dry hair. So like my hair is pretty, it's pretty dry. So I feel like it should work really well. I might hit it really quick with this air dryer just to see what it's like. But I know that it says it works best if you have damp hair. So let's go ahead and pull it out. I'm keeping all of these in case I don't want to keep this because like I said, it's an expensive thing. So even if I got it for what I paid for it, like I'm not going to keep this if I don't like it. So um, first off the bat, whew, my hair is like getting stuck in everything. Um, this is a long cord, so that is nice. I like when hair tools have long cords because I feel like a lot of times I do get ready in here and my outlet's pretty far away. Also in my bathroom, I don't like having it like right next to me. I'd rather use a different outlet, so I like that it's longer. So the actual barrel itself looks like this. Looks very sleek and it's not very heavy at all. So I think first we're gonna try this attachment here and go ahead and put that on and we're gonna try to dry our hair a little bit. So looks like there's a little locking system right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in. All right, I'm hopeful you guys will be able to hear me. So it looks like we have heat settings right here. So there are three different heat settings and then three different fan settings and then your on and off switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna put it on the second heat setting. It's not as loud as I thought. It's definitely, like it's got, it's loud, but it's not, I thought it was gonna be much louder. Hope you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna go ahead and just run through my hair. I'm gonna work mostly on the base. Through my hair really quickly. It kind of shakes a little when it like turns off. But here is my hair after. That was actually way quieter, like I said, than I was thinking. Um, I just wanted to mostly get like this top part pretty dry just because I know they said it works better on like, I think it's like 80% hair. So I really want to try the different attachments just to kind of get a feel for like the machine in general, like the full machine. So I'm going to pull this one off here 
And I'm actually going to put on one of the brush attachments. And I'm going to try to do this because I want to kind of flat, do the top of my hair flat, and then give volume to um, the ends. So we're going to try this out and see if we can get it to straighten the top of my hair. So I'm just going to really quickly just start to brush. I've seen people section their hair, but I've also seen them just like brush the top. So that's what I'm going to do is just brush through it. I am going to turn it on the hottest setting though, and then go ahead and start. I'm just brushing it through and I'm kind of stopping like right here because I really only want the top to be smooth because we're going to go ahead and curl them up. So kind of working slow. I do have another machine that's similar to this one that I use a lot. So I'm kind of just seeing. Looks like it's doing a fine job. It definitely feels like it's drying it pretty quick. Like that already feels like dry. I only went through it once. And it was pretty, I mean it wasn't wet by any means, but it still felt pretty damp. I'm just like so it's pretty damp. Alright, I'm gonna do a once over through my hair to comb it. I definitely think it did a nice job. I still feel like my hair is pretty frizzy on the top. Um, I probably could have smoothed it down a lot more. Also, I'm dealing with a lot of dryness in my hair. I have like a very dry scalp, so sometimes I get like these flakes. So if you guys see those, it's my scalp just like hating me right now. So there is that. But okay, I'm ready to try out the actual air wrapping system because that is what I'm most excited to try. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull a little bit of hair that we got out of here. I think for me, I'm going to try the smaller barrels. So the way that this works is I believe you're supposed to do them, like you're supposed to do them away from your face. So if you are doing um, the left side, then you're going to do the ones that have this arrow and the left arrow. And then if you're doing the right side, then you're going to do the ones towards the right side. So it kind of has it going, um, I believe this is the way it goes, like around, away from your face. And then I think your hair is supposed to like grab it. I think I have this on the wrong, hold on. Wow, it's already curling. <laughs> I think I have it on the wrong one though. I think it's supposed to be the other one for this side. I think I explained that wrong too. Just like based upon how it's curling. This gets really hot, like holy moly. It already looks pretty curled though. That's not a bad curl. Okay, so let's do it again. Turn it on. And then pull it. Yeah, I think that's the right way. So I'm gonna kind of hold it here for a minute. Get it really close to the root. And then I know you're supposed to hit it with like the cold. So now that it's been on there a second, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the cold. So there's a cold button to kind of cool it. So get on there a second. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Wow, that's like really curly. That's way curlier than I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and try my bangs here. So we're gonna wrap that around there. I'm going to let it do the work for me. Alright, hit it with the cold. And then pull it off. It's like really curling it. I can't believe how curled that is. Like for just, you know, like I didn't have to do anything. I just kind of like sucked it up. Um, so I'm going to just continue to kind of do my whole head. I don't want it to be like this curly if I'm being honest like this isn't really my ideal curl but I think once I like soften it with my fingers it's gonna be really nice so I'm gonna go ahead again and turn it back on I'm gonna start at the bottom here I'm gonna kind of let it grab the hair and I think I have it on yeah I had it on cold so Let's put it back on hot leave it sit there a second a little bit closer to the root. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it to cold. Let it cool down. I'm gonna go ahead and let it down. So it's definitely curling it. I definitely feel like this is gonna be like a learning curve to kind of see the best way for me to do it. But I mean, so far it seems pretty like simple as far as how it's doing it because it is curling it itself. So it's like literally taking the hair by itself. So I'm not even really having to like think about it, you know? 
So I'm going to go ahead again, turn it on. Just cut it, do its thing, wrap the hair. I, that's when I feel like I would like, ah, kind of getting tangled there. That's when I feel like I need the longer one because I feel like my hair is like very tangled down here right now. I might have put too much hair. I put on the cold. Okay. That one didn't go so hot. I think, I think what I need to do is do a little less hair. So let's try like a tinier piece. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I definitely think less hair would be better. I'm going to go ahead and do the fold. And pull it out. I don't know if I'm supposed to like turn it off while I pull it out or what, but I mean it's definitely doing, it's definitely curling it. And it's not taking that long. Like I've already done almost half my head and I feel like we've only been doing it a couple minutes, but I definitely think smaller pieces are going to work better. This end didn't really work, so I'm gonna try to get the end there again. so weird how it like sucks your hair up like it just feels like when you're younger and you like I don't know if you guys ever did this but if you like put your hair in the vacuum just to see like what would happen because <laughs> I've totally done that um I definitely think the curls are already like kind of falling um they're a lot less curlier than they were so far anyways but we've got that whole side I believe mostly curled so now we're gonna pull this off this attachment and I'm gonna go ahead and put on the other one. I'm gonna like speed through this because I feel like it's just gonna take forever if you sit here and watch me like curl my hair head. So I'm gonna cold shot it and then I think I'm just gonna speed through this part. I keep forgetting where the cold the cold shot part is. And then turn it off. Nice and curl. So I'm gonna speed through the rest of my hair and we'll see what happens. side curled and to be honest like I don't know how to feel about this like it definitely is curly but um it's I don't know a lot of them are like falling already like this piece like here like it doesn't even look like it was curled so I'm gonna actually just run my hands through the curls kind of do one of these my hair definitely feels dry so it definitely dried my hair kind of do like you know kind of fluff them out and see how it looks after that. I definitely think it's something that I'm gonna have to do like a learning curve with. I don't think it looks bad, but I definitely think like some of these pieces aren't really, like that could have just been my fault. Like, I just think some of these pieces already, see, come on, <laughs> aren't like fully curled, you know? I feel like I'd have to go over some of the pieces like quite a few times um, to like get them exactly where I'd want them. And also the fact that you have to use like the two different barrels, I keep forgetting about that part. So I kind of feel like the curls are kind of all over the place. But, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I definitely think that it's going to be, like, a learning curve, like I said, which is why I said I'm definitely, like, going to come back. I'm going to let you guys know what I think of it because I can't base it off, like, a first impression, something that's, one, this um, complex because I feel like this is a pretty, like, 
I think it's a learning curve to it. Like every video I've seen either like people are like, oh, I love it. I hate it. But I kind of feel like I've seen a lot of videos where people have like came back. It's first said they didn't like it and then came back and be like, okay, I love it now that I've had time to play with it. So I think it's just one of those things that I'm going to need to mess with it and see. But off first bat, I can see where this could come out good. But first bat, like I don't really love it. But I'll let you guys know. I'm going to keep you updated, let you know what I think. I'll have a link down below in case you guys are interested. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. Like I said, you guys wanted to see this. I know it wasn't like super, you know, crazy informative. It was kind of just me like testing it out. But hopefully you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Give this one a thumbs up if you did like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.